Let's go back to Ohm's law, where voltage is equal to current times by resistance. Let's say the circuit has a voltage of 50 volts. And let's say the current found in the circuit in the ammeter was 0.5 amps. What is the resistance of the actual light bulb? So we know that resistance is voltage divided by current. So resistance is going to be the voltage, which is 50, divided by 0.5. That means the resistance is 100. And that is 100 ohms. So you could write it like this with that sign over there or just write 100 ohms. Now, don't forget one kilovolt is equal to 1000 volts. One kilo ohm is 1000 ohms. Let's say a circuit had 20 volts and a three kilo ohm resistor. What is the current going to be? So current is voltage divided by resistance. So current is voltage, which is 20 divided by 3000. The reason why I write 3000 is the resistance is 3000 kilo ohms, which is 3000 ohms. And that gives me an answer of 6.67 times by 10 to the minus 3 amps, a very small current. Let's say I had this circuit and I wanted to find out what is the current that goes through each resistor. And let's say I wanted to also find out what is the voltage. Now we have to remember that current in a series circuit is exactly the same. So it doesn't matter where I take the current from. The current will be the same here, be the same here, be the same here, be the same there. In the series circuit, the current is equal in all the sections. To find out the current, I need to do the total voltage divided by the total resistance. Now, the voltage total is 100 volts. The total resistance is 2 plus 8, which is 10. So the total current is 10 amps. So 10 amps pass through here, and 10 amps also passes through there. So voltage in a series circuit is not, exact, is not the same everywhere. But voltage in a parallel circuit will be the same in this section, down here. Everywhere in a circuit, it will be 10 volts. But in here the voltage differs. So the two, uh, um, two ohm resistor will have a different voltage than the eight ohm resistor. Now we know voltage is current times by resistance. So the voltage will be the current, which in this case is 10 amps for each one, but each one has a different resistance. So I'm going to call this V1 and we're going to call this V2. So V1 is equal to 10 times by the resistance of this section, which is two. So 20 volts will be going through that section. V2 has 10 amps because the current is equal throughout the whole circuit, times by the resistance of that section, which is eight. So the total is 80 volts. And this makes sense because 80 plus 20 will give me the total voltage. I'm not losing voltage. I'm not gaining voltage. The voltage is just shared depending on how much resistance each one has. Let's do this circuit and we find out how much voltage goes through each section. So let's work out the current, which is the total voltage, which in this case is 50, divided by the total resistance. Current is voltage divided by resistance. So the total resistance is 10 plus 15, which is 25. So each one is getting two amps. So two amps passes through this and two amps passes through here. So I'm going to find out what the voltage over here is, which I'll call V1. And I'll call, I found out the voltage that passes through here. I'll call it V2. So V1 is equal to the current, which is 2, times by the resistance of that section, which is 10. Times in them both together, I get 20 volts that goes through that V1. That over there. V2 is equal to the current times by the resistance, 15, which gives me 30 volts. So I know 30 volts is passing through that resistor over there. For free live lessons and free worksheets, please click the link below. Each lesson comes with a worksheet to do, thousands of exam questions split by topics with video help, math, sciences, and many other subjects.